Hi everyone, my name is Natalia and today I'm going to show you how you can create this grey, smoky, neutral daytime look with ELF's 100% Pure Mineral Eyeshadow Kit. Now this kit comes with three eyeshadows of this size, two makeup brushes, a flat shader brush and a fluffy crease brush like this. It also comes with a black eyeliner and I particularly like these as they have a little sharpener in the lid which is always really handy. I am wearing ELF's foundation and this one is in Fair and it has SPF 15 in it and it matches my skin tone pretty well so you can see. And then I'm wearing ELF Mineral Blush and this is in the colour Joy and it's a really pretty light pink. And as a highlight I'm wearing one of ELF Mineral Bronzers and this is in Shimmer and it looks like this. It's very very um, lightly shimmery so you can see as I turn my face the light just catches on my cheeks where I've put it here slightly on my nose and my forehead and it really gives the face a lovely glow I think. The thing about mineral eyeshadows is that you, they really need a base for them to stay on all day. So I'm going to use ELF's Duo Cream Eyeshadows in um, Black Licorice and I'm just going to use the silver one here. I'm going to get a little bit on my ring finger and then just pat it onto the lid. We only want a really small amount of this as if you get too much it can crease. I'm going to take the flat eyeshadow brush and the lightest colour in the set which is called Mysterious and this is a light grey with um, tiny little flecks of glitter and you'll see that. So I've taken some in the lid and I'm taking the flat brush and I'm just pressing it in like this and I'm going to tap off any extra to make sure there's no fallout on my face because I've already done my foundation. Now we're just going to press that in on top of that silver base that we've put on and we're putting this all over the lid and up to the crease these eyeshadows have great pigmentation so you really don't need very much just make sure it's pressed in well so that there's no fallout and try not to sweep it across your lid as that way you're only moving pigment around and it's not guaranteed to stay as well you really want to press it into that base. So there we go, there's the grey mysterious colour and I'm not sure if you can pick up the tiny flecks of shimmer there, there, that are in there and really pretty. Next we're going to smoke this up a little bit and just darken it up a touch and we're going to take the next colour and this is a darker colour, it's called Socialite and it has a little bit of shimmer to it and um, it's kind of a taupey grey. And I've taken a little bit of that in the lid. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the colour better. And I'm just going to take the crease brush and put it in here. Wiggle it around and then tap off any extra as before. As this is a daytime look, we don't want it to be too dark. So make sure you tap that brush off really well. Now I'm just going to use this to define my eye and add some depth. As you can see, it looks like my crease is deeper here. So what I'm going to do is go along the outer V. Just making a V here here, like so and then work it into the crease. You see how that adds depth to my eye? And we're just going to blend that in and with whatever's left on the brush we're going to go onto the eye, just the outer third, not too far over because you want it to be quite natural. Instead of using a highlight, I'm going to use the same shimmer that I used before for my cheek. It's very, very subtle, almost the same colour as my foundation. And first of all, I'm going to wipe off my flat brush that had the grey mysterious colour on it. I believe it's called mysterious. Yes. And I'm going to take a little bit of that shimmer colour. Same technique, just wiggling it in and then tapping off any extra. And I'm just going to pat that into my brow bone and then blend it down to soften that dark grey. And this is what gives it that really smoky effect. Once you've blended it really well, you can't see any harsh lines at all and it just naturally fades out. I 
like so. So there is our eyeshadow done. Next we're going to take the black eyeliner and just draw a thin line mostly on the outer edge and this really helps to define the lashes and make them look thicker as well as define your eyes and I feel it really finishes off the look and we're going to do a little wing at the end like so just follow the same line as your outer la um, lower lash line and just flick it up a little bit we're not going to go too far in because we don't want the eyeliner to be too strong just a thin line there and then the last step for the eyes is to add mascara another product from Elf Mineral Line. This is their mineral lipstick in the colour Nicely Nude. It's a really pretty light pink. Very natural looking so it's not going to overpower the eyes and all the tension is still going to be on that pretty grey smoky look. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this lipstick on. And then I'm going to blend it into my lips with my ring finger. You can see how it looks natural but the lip colour is enhanced. And on top of that I am just going to add Elf's Hyper Shine Gloss in Fairy. This is a really pretty light colour with lots of shimmer and gold re um, reflective pigments and things. And all you do is just twist it up to get the colour out. It's very useful when you're on the go. And this gloss really makes your lips look shiny, youthful, full. And that is the completed look. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.